Thanks to the new visual customization system, we can get some very cool new interesting combinations in Valhalla, including completely unique and kind of glitchy looks, but I totally dig them. So in this video, I want to go over these secret new armors, discuss the run animation from the Altair outfit, and way, way more. So if you like that, then a like on the video would of course really help me out. And let's go. First up, a quick reminder. I'm of course doing a Helix credit pack giveaway for 2,300 credits. And the winner will be announced this coming Tuesday. So you still got time to enter via the link in the pinned comments. And be sure you are a subscriber of this channel before you enter. And good luck. Let's first start with some secret transmog options. And one was shared by Hydrogen Missile in the comments under a recent video about a blue merchant tunic. So with the transmog system we can of course change the look of any weapon and gear item and then also choose items that we could not use in England before like the whole Finland armor set but also the merchant items that we actually used in Finland as well when we reached location for the first time and did not unlock the Finland armor set yet. So that's really cool that we can use these items now as well in England but it is causing some weird things. Actually, some really cool new color combinations for existing items in the game. If you namely select the merchant blouse on any chest via the transmog system and then equip the trolls breachers, your whole outfit turns blue. Like it becomes a completely unique new armor set. I think it looks awesome and you can also equip other items over this like a cloak so you can really kind of make it your own style. Wolf Nova reached out to me with another one of these unique new colors, the green Raven Clan armor. So how to do this is first you want to downgrade the Raven Clan armor chest at Gunner and you then of course get your resources back. And then upgrade the chest immediately again to bronze. If you now equip this chest and then put the merchant trousers over any other like boots in the game, the look of the Raven Clan chest will change to green. The scarf is sadly also green, so that kind of sucks. Would have been cool if this was like red as well, but it still looks nice. And you can, by the way, also just select the bronze Raven Clan chest over any other chest in the game. And then, if you have the merchant trousers as a visual option for your boots, then the chest will turn green as well. But it only works with the bronze look of the Raven Clan chest. You can do something else as well, and this one was shared by DKTO98 on our Discord the Black Carolingian Cape that actually looks really, really awesome. So, for this, you just need to have the merchant trousers as a visual option over the boots that you are wearing. Like, there's really something interesting going on with these merchant items, causing all these cool combinations. And then, if you equip the cloak from the Carolingian set, it's not red, but black. And yes, just like with the green Raven Clan chest, you can also just put the Carolingian cloak over any other cloak via the transmog to have this effect. And yeah, the Carolingian cloak was, of course, part of that Prime pack that is not available anymore, but usually Ubisoft adds them to the Helix store as well later on, so hopefully it appears at Reda at some point. I really hope that Ubisoft doesn't fix this bug, you could say, right, that is causing all all these cool weird combinations and maybe just looks at it and thinks hey people want more colors for their armors let's give it to them because for some reason there is a green version of the raven clan chest and if they really need a silver sink in the game then i actually think that paying for completely new colors for familiar armor sets that we could not unlock before makes way more sense than paying for a transmog system that should be like a nice quality of life thing right so i'll of course keep an eye out and report back when we know more oh and there's also something interesting going on with the iron cloud bow you find this bow by the way in london it's one of the wealth icons there so when you upgrade it, you will actually see that it kind of like starts looking at an Isu bow on the mythical status. Thanks to the bright spots on the bow. But if you then use it, you don't really see that anymore. It looks quite normal. And we see footage here, by the way, from Sick Burn Gaming. And a link to the channel is, of course, in the video description. I never really used this bow because it's not that good. So maybe this was, like, always the case. But when you, like, use it now, it looks like an Isu bow. Thanks to Nico in the Discord for noting this, by the way. 
I will totally now be rocking this way more because it looks really, really awesome. Never really paid attention. Of course, if you found cool things, then you can totally reach out via the input at Drafter.com email address or in the comments. You can note something, social media, the links are in the video description. And Norseman noted in a recent comment that if you sprint with the hood up with the alter ear outfit, the running animation looks like alter ears, old running animation. And that would of course have been a really cool touch. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Like, it runs great for sure, but it's not exclusive to the outfit at all. People seem to be comparing it to running with the alter ear outfit with a hood on versus regular running without a hood on. And yeah, that totally looks different, but maybe you already hear it. It's about having a hood on or not. Because when you run with a hood on with a regular armor, you can't really see the animation thanks to the cloak. While with the alter ear outfit and also the bike outfit, you do see the different run because you have no cloak at all. So yeah, that seems to be what is going on here. Although I would have loved to see some exclusive legacy sort of animations for these outfits. Although still, the sneak up and walk assassination animation looks way cooler with the alter ear outfit although it can be done with every outfit in the game the Finland armor does have an exclusive feature or let's call it a bug because maybe you already noticed it when you go into the Ostara brawl with the full Finland armor on then it will only showcase the headgear while the rest changes to the Raven Clan armor set for some reason. So it seems like Ubisoft still needs to look at these items imported from Finland and let's overall just hope that we can use the regular Finland armor as well with the stats. Like we can use the look now want to rock the stats as well. Also, by the way, when changing tattoos with the Finland armor, Eivor will wear her pants while editing instead of only standing in her underwear. So yeah, I'm sure they will fix this with a future update. We should not expect that update next week, by the way. I think the week after that. When we know more, I will, of course, let you know here. So totally subscribe for way more Valhalla content. I also cannot wait to discuss some exciting new rumors, Druid's DLC info, and more. So totally subscribe to be up to date on everything Valhalla. A like on the video would, of course, really help me out. And totally check out my previous video on the weekly selection with the items that Reda is selling right now. And also with a comment from Ubisoft about the future of these festivals. You can watch it by clicking on the screen or I will link to it at the end of our photo mode showcase. You can of course send in your shots via the Valhalla Raptor hashtag on Twitter. Or via my dedicated pictures channel on the Discord. And you can join the Discord via the link in the pinned comments. Of course accept the rules and then you are able to post. Okay Joyce your turn. You of course selected three shots from the community. So so, which one did you pick this time? Hello, hello. First up is Neex over on Twitter, whose Eivor is hiding cleverly in a cave entrance covered in icicles. It's also a bit creepy seeing the Draugr mask suddenly <laughs> coming into view if they were playing hide and seek. Love the shot. So, this was like during a main mission, right? Or y Yeah, somewhere in Jotunheim. I, I recognize this as like a quest location, maybe? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really well done. Up next is Jakester, also on Twitter, who took this stunning shot of a waterfall with an interesting looking rock above it. It, it, it looks like a face, <sighs> maybe even a bit of a sad face. Where is this, I wonder? I think it's Vinland, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, with the mountains there in the distance, I think you might be right. And I never saw this before, so I was like, is this in Valhalla? Really yeah. awesome. And finally, we've got Condition One Buns over on Discord, who combined electricity with fire and duplicated the, the new weapon of the Tyrannus set to fight with. They also used the remove helmet effect to give these glowing electricity eyes to Eivor. Very powerful shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so this with the Tyrannus helm then, of course. Ah, yes. I see. Very awesome. Of course, sending your shots, and then maybe you'll be in the next video. Subscribe for way more Valhalla content, and totally check out our previous video by clicking on the screen. For now, we will speak to you next time, and goodbye. Goodbye.